<laughs> so this is the Berghouse uh, 65 meter. Um, it's their trailhead. It was on Go Outdoors for something like, um, <clears throat> I think I got it for 50 pounds or something like that. And uh, it was um, reduced from 90. Um, and it's the first one that I've bought that's like a proper brand, like Berghouse. And I actually love Berghouse stuff. Uh, I've got a real soft spot for it. I've always enjoyed their stuff. So um, this pack now weighs nine kilograms. And then bearing in mind, I'll have a litre of water in there. So that'll be a 10 kilogram pack. So my three day expedition is going to be <laughs> all in there and uh, is 10 kilograms. So I'll just do a little bit of an unpacking just so you can see what I've got in there. Uh, so starting over here on the side, we've got the tent pegs. The tent pegs and the tent poles and they are uh, there's just no point like bothering keeping them dry but i've got them attached there's this little like hooky do for what's it over here which um is actually really handy so i can put them onto there that was another thing zara mentioned that if you hold if you actually tie it down to something just in case it falls out so that's sort of like a uh, a good idea and probably also means that i can't even unhook it when i need to can we do that this is like proper hooked in. <laughs> Good to get this out of the way, isn't it? There we go. So that's that bit. And then that's unhooks from there. Perfect. Ten pegs and poles. <laughs> now in the top pocket, so in this top pouch here at the back and the head, I've got my pillow, inflatable pillow. Those waterproof gaiters, just in case I do need them. A little beanie to keep warm at night. I've got some special hydration tablet type things um, with some vitamins and stuff in for um, adding to water. I've got a little grab bag of chocolate, raisins, sultanas, mixture sort of stuff. Really, really good because it's full of fats, full of protein, and full of sugar. It's like a mix of everything that you need. Uh, in there, I've just got all my sort of first aidy, medicinal, um, toilet paper. Um, earplugs, bandage, painkillers, vitamins, the stuff that I sort of take, and uh, plus inhaler and contact lenses. And this is kind of like um, a mixture, so I've got some cloths in there for wiping down the inner of the tent, of the outer tent, if that makes sense, the inside of the outer tent layer, because um, it, it does get quite condensated, and if it does rain, I just, I just want to make sure it's as dry as possible before I put it away. I've got my torch which is um, it's a high beam and it can also dim as well, which I quite like because you don't need it to be full brightness at all times. So if you're able to you know, dim it, uh, you save the battery. And, uh, but it's got a front cob light as well. So it's like a big beam spread of light, which is great for any tent. And then the front has the, you know, like the, the laser beam type, type one. And it also has um, a red light as well. So it's, I think it's got like an SOS type flashy thing on there. Then I've got a glow stick um, for clubbing. <laughs> I've got um, the uh, sun cream, which is stuff that I really need. Some matches, waterproof matches, and a candle as well, which just um, is, is more for emergency situations, just like survival, that kind of thing. Uh, I've got a couple of Kit Kats and some dextrose tablets. So that's the top bit done. And I'm moving to the inside of the bag, which is actually not full. There's probably still another 10 litres or so in there. My waterproof jacket. I've got the outer of the tent, and again that's wrapped up because if it does get wet, I don't want it to get anything wet inside. My dry kit, so my dry clothes for night time. The inner of the tent, which is wrapped up in another bag, so it's actually inside a, um, a plastic Tesco bag and inside that, because the inner I just really don't want to get wet at all. And then last but not least, is my sleeping bag. And the sleeping bag is so bulky, but I just haven't got the money to, to buy like one of those really lightweight tiny ones, but I'm not going to take it out, but it is, it's in there. And I put it in a black bin liner just to keep that dry because that that is absolutely like vital for me. So, um, oh, I suppose I should probably put that in there as well. My power bank as well for my um, phone. It's an Amazon Basics one. It's twenty six thousand eight hundred milliamps, 
Um, I've been having issues with it charging at the super fast charging, but that doesn't matter because you can turn that off and then it will just charge at like a gentle 1.5 amps, which it's not fast, but it's enough to sort of do in a few hours. Um, and that's it. Obviously then a litre of water will go on there as well. But um, that's what I'm taking with me. That's, that's 10 kilograms. I'm really pleased with it, to be honest. I didn't expect it to be that light. Um, and this is the lightest I've ever packed. Um, I, I normally sort of think, oh, well, I need this for emergency and I need that. And, but you know what? The amount of miles that I've got to do in a day and the type of walking that I'm doing, there's just no point. So I'm, I'm, I've literally just, I'm going against everything that I normally do. And I have gone light very very light um so i hope that sort of gives you an idea and helps as to what i'm doing so it's again it's three days 100 miles two no two nights wild camping or campsite camping whatever um depending on how far i make it so yeah hope that helps okay so maybe you're wondering why um i don't actually have any food packs or any food gear and actually that's that's something that i've sort of made a decision on um only a few days ago because i did buy a really really nice um tiny tiny little cooker thing that goes on top of a gas um canister um and it was fantastic i used it and it was really good um lightweight it weighs something like 20 something grams tiny um metal thing um, so tiny, it glows red hot on the on the stove, which is cool. But um, you, yeah, why why aren't I taking enough food? But it's because there, there's actually I'm I'm going to try and well, I can't get my words out. <laughs> I'm going to try and um, eat smart. So rather than like make sure I get somewhere that has a pub or something like that, I'm going to eat all through the day. So the stuff that I've got with me is really there for you know emergency if I've not found anywhere for a while, and along the way there are like lots of little cafes and places that I can eat and I'm gonna eat little and often and lots of carby stuff lots of protein so I'm gonna have lots of meats as much as I can um, to keep my muscles repaired um, but also loads of carbs so my muscles are fed whilst whilst going through so it's hopefully to be some sort of like a nice balance um, so yeah that's why I'm not carrying any food or any ways of cooking food but having enough on me just to make sure that if I find myself in a really bad situation, I mean, 500 grams of nuts, peanuts and chocolate, there must be a thousand calories there um, just just in that bag. Um, and that's fats, that's proteins, that's sugars. So I'll be absolutely fine, I'm sure. I just have to make sure that I eat little and often along the way. But, you know, if you've got a trail and you know that there's places that you can do that, why carry? And this is the thing. Why carry a pot, a spork? A gas canister, um, the the cooker top thing, and packets of food. It's dead weight. It's literally just dead weight, and there's no point. Especially if I pass somewhere and I eat there, and it's just it's just burnt energy for absolutely nothing. So that's the reason.